the CPU is uh, all wrapped up. It's really nice. This is also, uh, it was included in the package. It's a uh, 400 uh, millimeter um, compressed air can. And uh, this beauty, the uh, Gigabyte B360M D3H motherboard. It really looks great. It doesn't have any uh, signs of uh, tearing or opening. The Pentium G5400 Gold, two cores, four threads, 3.7 GHz. It's really for the price, it's incredible. This is um, even better than the i3-6100 which although it had the same uh, um, frequency 3.7 GHz it is uh, with uh, the Pentium Gold is with two generations newer and that's why uh, the same frequency it's even better at half the price I've spent on the i3-6100 two years ago. Actually even less than uh, two times. So uh, at this point this is the best budget gaming CPU you can, uh, you can get. Trust me, you don't need anything else than this one. This CPU will handle even 4K gaming um, at 60 uh, FPS as long as you have a uh, good enough GPU. That's it. The reason I went with this uh, motherboard um, it's that it has an uh, um, included display port uh, video output um, and I need it for my uh, 4K monitor in order to run it at 60 Hz without a dedicated GPU. I will be using just the uh, integrated uh, GPU of the uh, Pentium Gold. I think it's the HD630. Uh, um, I could have went for a uh, cheaper motherboard, uh, but um, at least here um, the $25 US dollars spent extra uh, gave me a lot more, so the uh, cheaper motherboard would have been the Gigabyte H310M A. Uh, it was a uh, two RAM slot uh, motherboard, which again had the uh, display port uh, included, uh, but it didn't had um, any uh, heat sinks for the North Bridge. Also, uh, it had only a 4-pin uh, CPU connector um, on it. Um, and uh, overall, uh, of course, uh, you would have paid for what you get. Um, but if you are really on a very tight budget, I assure you, even the cheapest uh, H310M motherboard will be more than enough. Also, the uh, Gigabyte, all the uh, Gigabyte motherboards, the uh, 300 series, will support the uh, next generation of uh, Intel CPUs, the 9th gen. I'm sure that will be the case with all the uh, 300 series motherboards from all the other manufacturers, but it's very nice to know that you are able to use even an, the future i9 9900K or 9700K on uh, this motherboard. So uh, this is the, the main reason I went with this motherboard. This D3H uh, variant from Gigabyte, it's actually the third motherboard uh, I am using. Before this one I had the uh, 250M 
um, with the Pentium uh, G4560. Um, it really worked wonders and before that um, I also uh, had it with uh, the uh, i5-4670 um, and I really like the motherboard and the um, micro ATX format. What can I say guys, uh, stay tuned because these two components will go into my next uh, best budget uh, gaming build. Also the uh, compressor can. This is the first one I have in my hands. Um, I will use it in the next uh, months when the dust will uh, set in.